my friend and welcome to my channel. Today is Horseshoe Bay Beach and Waikiki Beach Gradient Stamped. I have started off with Nail Teaks Formula 2 and one thin layer of Fair Maiden Waikiki Beach. And I've got my liquid latex on ready to go. I've got a dampened makeup sponge and I'm going to gradient with Cupcake Polishes, Horseshoe Bay Beach, and the Waikiki Beach. I'm just going to use just these two today. And so I'm just adding some to the sponge. You've seen me do this before. And then I kind of like roll it on and then start dabbing. And I do like one round of fresh polish on each nail. And then I kind of start after each, you know, loading of the sponge. Then I start kind of just dabbing over all of the nails with them. But for that first round, I just like to kind of load that joker up and kind of get her going. But I really, really did love these colors together. It was a little different for me. Um, I don't normally think of tan and pink going together, but I think they went together pretty nice this time. And I do moisten my sponge, and I've been asked before, why do I do that? I think it makes the sponge absorb less polish and you know, I mean, I could be totally wrong on that, but um, I, I don't think it takes, it seems like the sponge kind of holds up the polish up on the top better without trying to suck it up deep down into the sponge. So, you know, that's why I do it. And I can't remember who I saw do it. It might have been Colette from My Simple Little Pleasures or someone else, but somebody did it and I thought, well, that looks like a good idea. And so I started doing it. Now it's habit. I just kind of run it under the faucet and squeeze all the extra out. Makes it easy. And these were polishes out of the last um, hollow hookup box, the one for August. And I just wanted to make sure I used them before the new box comes because, you know, we're almost hitting September, so it should be here soon. And I wanted to, you know, get these two in and spotlight them on my channel before they get kind of lost in the collection. <laughs> and as you can see, like, I kind of move over, like, on my start nail. I, like, I started with the middle one this time and then went through all of them back to the thumb and the pointer. And then when I load up again, I would start with my ring finger through the pinky. And But this time I didn't need to. They were opaque. So I'm going to pull off this latex. And today, uh, since I don't have any nail polish on the other hand, I just used my fingers because the tweezers were making me crazy. And now I'm going to break out some acetone in my little cleanup brush and do some cleanup real quick. And one thing I always like about hollow polish is the cleanup is so easy. In fact, if I'm ever in a hurry, I normally pick a hollow polish to paint my nails with because, I don't know, I control them easy and they clean up easy. We're going to top this one off with some Posh Top Coat and make that gradient smooth out and to seal it all in and get it to dry down so we can do some stamping. Pretty excited. I'm gonna use my Baroness X cuticle balm and I'm just using a little elf brush and I'm just going around the edges trying to clean up and make it not look so dry. So here's what this manicure looks like on its own. And I'm going to be using this Lena plate today. And I do believe this one is the Make Your Mark. And the Cerulean Blue from Sally Hansen's Crayola Collection. I've decided to give it a whirl. And here we go. And I am using my Bundle Monster Monocle Stamper and my Moe Scraper. So here we go. We're going to do that again. And I really do like the Sally Hansen Crayola Collection for stamping. I'm really pleased with them. You can't see it real great right now, but in my swatch photo, you'll be able to see it a little better. How well this actually showed up over that gradient. And I do not stamp this fast. I have sped this up a little bit. If I would have left it, you know, running real time, this would have been like a 15-minute video. <laughs> And I don't know if it's as fun to watch as it is to do, but it's it's definitely a lot of fun to do. 
there we go. And I'm going to use a different design for my ring finger. Wipe that plate off and I'm going to turn it around. Let me use this other image. And here we go. We have Stampin' Done. I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup with some tape. And this is coming up great with the tape. I'm not having, having hardly any issues with it. There we go. And we're going to seal this stampin' in with some posh top coat. Going to seal it all in so it'll last for a minute, a couple of days, something like that. And there's Woody. He had to come visit. So there we go. Here's my final manicure. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about it down below. Thanks for watching. And as always, until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.